Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is part three of Circle of Life by this artist here. I'm not going to pronounce her name because I know I'm going to butcher it. And this is for the scavenger hunt to find a bee. And we are continuing on with this page here. And we're going to do these plants on the edges today and I'm going to be using my Zander pencils and I'm going to use Forest Green 030 for the leaves and the vines. So how is everybody today? I'm doing fine. I'm recording this a little earlier than usual today. So what is everybody colouring? What's everyone crafting? How's everyone's weekend? I've got quite a relaxing weekend this weekend. Just carrying on doing my room. I think I'm going to put the lights up this weekend. coming nicely, it's coming along nicely. If you hear any noise in the background, that's just my turtles. Wanna welcome all my new subscribers. And I wanna welcome all my old ones back. So we'll see how far we get with these plants and then if we have enough time start with the honeycomb in the middle. I have an idea for that. I'm only doing this page for the bees, I'm not doing that page. I'm only doing this page. I was going to do two of them but I prefer this page over that page. I will do that page in the future though. If you guys would like to do a buddy colour with me in this book, just comment down below and I will definitely do that for you. I've just finished a whip I have had from Kawaii Girls 100 Pictures Brace by Jade Summer. And I finished that one just before I started recording. So, yeah. I think now that's like my 11th, maybe 12th whip I've done this month. I've been working a lot through them. Because as you guys know, I hate whips. Even if I hate the picture and I just don't want to do the picture, I'm just going to try and complete it as best as I can. And try and savour it type thing. I'm going to do these in the same green, but I'm going to do like these plants first. I need to sharpen the pencil. That would be a handy little pot. So yeah, I've just been doing a lot of whips lately guys and just trying to complete most of them and then try and do my own thing but I'm mainly focusing on the whips. I think I've got like, I've just got a massive stack of books but it's not as big as it was, which is really good. I think um, I have 32 
whips and I think I've done like more than half and we're not even like two weeks into this month which is crazy but I will definitely definitely do most of them this month this book is beautiful it really is it looks really detailed but it's really not like overwhelming at all and i got this for like five pounds on amazon i'm not too sure if it still is five pounds or if it's gone back up to ten pounds or what but i think everyone in the color community has got this book or most people have the line work is beautiful in it I've seen people use like Crayola super tips in this book and stuff like that but as you guys know I never use any type of markers in my double sided paper just because I'm very like heavy handed so if I use markers I know for a fact it'll shadow or it'll bleed through to the other side and it'll just make me really disheartened with the book I might be even be able to complete this this video. Not too sure though. If not, then there'll be another part to it. But as you guys know, I do not plan my colours at all. I'm just colouring these bits. I don't even know what I'm colouring in green, but I'm colouring these bits in green. <laughs> This is a very beautiful green. What I love about this book is you don't need to shade or anything because the lines make it look like you've already shaded which I absolutely love it's a bit like Kirby's work mixing in with Rita Berman's work I've heard I've never had any of Rita Berman's books but it does give me Kirby vibes this book a lot I think when I've done this colour in the chart I'm going to start doing World of Flowers or something like that, my whip out of that book. Because I've already got my pencils, I might as well use them. And this video is going to be about 50 minutes long. As usual, the others. I love the way I've actually made them these really glittery. You can do a background if you want to on these, but I really don't do them because they have enough detail on them to not have a background. I'm not really a background person to be honest. Or a blender or a shader, I just like putting colour to the paper. And just have fun.
I've just been doing all my marker whips because they'll be a lot quicker and easier to complete than pencils as you guys know it takes parts to do pencils like a lot of parts when I'm colouring with pencils but when I'm colouring with pens it takes like or markers it takes like two to three parts and when it's pencils it takes literally like ten parts but there's no rush in colouring at all And they finish these leaves guys. I might actually do them leaves a little bit darker green. I know not every um, leaf is green but when I see this picture I see like summer and like spring type colours so it is green. I've seen people call this picture in like winter. I've seen so many people call this page and it's so beautiful. But I just look at this and just it screams too much detail for me, so I try and avoid it and just colour in the simpler pages for the time being. If you made it this far into the video, comment down below, flower. I know we had that one last time, let's do a specific flower, a lily. I think that's what they are, lilies, but just comment down below, lily. That'll be fun. It's going to be a nice quiet colour and chat by the way guys, because as you guys know my voice has not been the best lately. I know I could have done a speed colour with these pages like the whips and that but as you guys know I like to like talk and colour and chat. Um, for these parts here, I'm going to do in the next one, which is 31, which is just normal green, and that's 031. And I'm going to colour these parts in that one. So it's like slightly darker, but it's not. I really do love these pencils. He's got more. But they've lasted me like two years. But I haven't really been using them until like most recently, to be honest. It doesn't take much to sharpen these pencils as well, guys.
And then I might have um, enough time to do these. But I'm going to do the insides in yellow glitter gel pen. And then do the outside in like orange pencil. So it's going to be a bit like different. You guys will see what I mean when I do it. That's another reason why I've been putting this off so much, but it needs to be done. As you guys know, I'm going to try and do every scavenger hunt prompt on camera with you guys. And that's like 44 so far. Which is madness. But if Danny Buttons ever does another one, I'll of course do a video on it on the uncoloured pictures. And then obviously they'll get added onto this little series I'm doing. I don't know why I'm going anti-clockwise, but I am. It's kind of bugging me. <laughs> I've done it like this, but I started it, so I can't go back now. Got one more and then it's the flowers, which I'm gonna do in mm, like a really light purple, I think. There's loads of little dots as well. I might actually do that at the end, or I might just leave it because I don't know yet. I've just been having fun with my um, colour pictures to be honest guys and that's what colouring's all about if you get stressed with colouring you're, you're not really having fun at colouring then are you? I know some people take it like proper seriously but I just have fun with it these flowers here I'm going to do in cornflower blue which is 097 and violet which is 098 I don't know why I'm starting off with this one down here but I am reality I should do that one but I'm starting off at the bottom and then I'll leave that row there I'll leave the insides like that and then I'll do that there like that. Yeah. I'm just guessing guys. I'm I don't have a clue what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. But if it looks okay, it looks okay, which it looks okay, so I'm happy. I 
I might do this part and like the next part, I'm not too sure. So far we got on these flowers, isn't it? I don't call these realistic at all, guys. As like I said, this month I've just been going on a crazy, just fun colouring mood. The inside's going to be in violet. Oh, that's nice. Like the way I've done that. See, I don't even plan these things, it just happens. I haven't even been out the shop, I'm not seeing any like new colouring books or anything, which I usually do, but I haven't done that in a while. I'm like stopping myself from buying colouring books because I've got so many. I haven't really found one that's caught my eye yet either, which is really odd for me. But I'm just like plenty there, I can just colour it. I haven't really caught up on YouTube yet, like my colour on YouTube yet, because I've just been really focusing on colouring in and doing my whips and just being down here and like quietness and no YouTube whatsoever because I don't have a TV down here I just have my desk my pens pencil books that's it pretty much and obviously my turtles but I just like to be down here when it's all quiet and just colour in Sometimes I can get like two to three pages done a day, which is not bad. And then other days I can get like one in, not even that, because some days I'm like, mm, can't be bothered colouring them. But this month I've been really forcing myself to colour in, even when I'm not in the mood so I can get them lips done because they are doing my head in a little bit. So we've done them. Oh yeah, we have enough time for this part here. We're gonna start off the thing. Honeycomb. I couldn't think what it was called then. So I'm gonna be using my scribbleless gel pens and I'm gonna be using this colour here, which is like a dark yellow. Very honey yellow. And I'm just going to go around all the little um, patterns in the honeycomb with it. I might even finish this in the same one video, which I'm getting really excited about because then I can start a brand new picture next time. Which definitely will be the next prompt on the scavenger hunt because I want to try and get as many of them done as possible by the end of the year.
I can't wait for like the summer time because I've got quite a few uh, ideas for the channel. I can't believe it's already like the 14th of August already. It's like where's this year gone? It's flying by far too quickly. I'm gonna go this way around so I don't get to open on my hand. Probably already might, but I'm not really bothered because I don't mind glitter. But I'm doing this one. Just going around the patterns in this yellow colour because it's like a honeycomb isn't it I know some people might call these in brown and then the outside yellow but I'm calling this in yellow and orange I had a vision and I'm doing the vision <laughs> so confusing around this part uh, there. So confusing. I got it. Like two minutes per one, or something. Which I'm really shocked about because I thought it would take me a little bit longer than that. But I genuinely think I'm gonna um, do this page, this video, which I'm really, really excited about. There's only three parts, which is crazy. I mustn't have been in the mood to do them last time, like because this picture is really simplistic. Or left of it anyway. That part's really confusing, so that's going to take me a while. I might just do this part and uh, no, because I never really got the orange to go. Half an hour, okay. Sorry guys, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> It looks cool like that, doesn't it? I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that there for a sec and I'm going to get the orange out which is 060 
and I wanna oh, I've kind of messed up up there. I wanna colour it in in orange. See if that makes it a bit faster. Which it probably will. Yes it does. I'm like colouring all the squares in um, orange. Let me go around it and job them. So this is like what my plan was, which it actually looks really nice. So you had a vision with this part. The flowers I didn't really have a vision with, but the rest, the rest of it. These actually look really good. I'm really, 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 really happy about these. I'm just going to colour these in with the orange and then go over in the gel pens. I'm just going to put the lip back on the gel pens and them dry out. I'm just going to quickly colour in all these in the orange. Okay, I'll just have a weird nose. Just doing all of these in orange. I might just do that on all one colour because it's so detailed. I don't know yet. Yes, I'm going outside the lines. 
I wanna, I'm gonna finish off that stream in a little bit. This is what I'm just going to do. I'm just going to color in this. Just doing all the outlines in my glitter gel pen and then I'm going to go in with the orange. I'm just going to do the middle one all in yellow, I think, because it's so like detailed. I'm just going to colour this all in one colour, it's just so detailed, so... It's just going to go in one colour. It 
kind of looks cool like that to be honest. I like it. And now I'm just going to go and just scribble over everything that I haven't got in the glitter gel pen. And we're done. So the next prompt we are going to do is, I think it's a word. So we are going to do uh, it's a picture with words is from it's from this book and it'll be this page so it'll be a lot simplistic I don't know where it's more simple and it'll be a lot more fun I'm not going to do the background because obviously it's going to be the whole page. So yeah, that's it. Yep. And the just ones. So that's going to be our next. Come on, chat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and follow my Facebook group page on the description down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.